It looks unique, it feels unique, it is unique. It's Lynx Boondocker DS850 E-Tech model year 22. My name is Joni Launonen. And I'm Janne Tapio. For model year 18, Lynx introduced new Radiant DS platform. And what made this uh, platform unique was this uh, short tunnel design. Yeah, the whole platform was, uh, was designed to have a short tunnel for DS. Uh, it's, it's having less friction against the snow. So uh, we don't have a traditional snow guard and the tunnel is shorter. So when the rider want to turn uh, tight turns uh, or do kind of uh, wheelies or whatever, so it, there is no friction uh, against the snow. So basically the sled goes uh, much better on the deep snow with this uh, feature. So more agility, more deep snow performance, more fan factor. Yeah, for sure. And uh, together with this short tunnel design comes a very unique feature, rear axle snow guard. Yeah, uh, when we remove, remove the rear uh, snow guard, uh, we wanted to still maintain a good uh, cooling capacity. So therefore the, the snow guard was put on the rear axle so it's creating a minimal uh, friction and it's still uh, uh, shooting the, the snow on the, on the cooling system. And it's working really well when the reversing uh, out of the trailer or something like this. Everything around in this cockpit area has been designed around the rider in a way that the rider can move freely back and forth and from side to side. Yeah. Yeah, again, the, the ergonomy uh, is really important on the deep snow riding as well. We wanted to increase the uh, room for rider to move around uh, on the deep snow uh, side hailing or, or things like that. So, And uh, what made it possible to make this area so slim and narrow, it's bevel tunnel system that Lynx have, has been using since 2005. Yeah. It all starts from the tunnel. There is a beveled uh, tunnel here, so narrow, uh, narrow fuel tank, and then uh, the seat on top of it, it's as well a narrow. Then uh, the running boards, they are narrow as well. Yeah, narrow running boards, uh, and this leads to the narrow uh, side panel uh, area, so again, less uh, friction against the snow. And then we go to rear suspension. The core of this sled is the PPS to DS plus rear suspension. There is some special uh, things on, on the, here as well. For example, the open concept. So the, the front arm and the rear arm are kind of open on the middle. So what it means that the, the snow is not having uh, kind of surfaces too much, which uh, can block the snow coming out from the rear suspension. It comes with two benefits. The rear suspension stays light uh, the whole day. And when there's no buildup in the rear suspension, the rear suspension works always like it yeah. designed to work. Exactly. So Janne, if you had to describe in one word that how this sled, this suspension feels, what would it be? I would say it's uh, confidence. Uh, you can trust uh, trust this rear suspension, it doesn't do any uh, kind of uh, surprises for you. Um, in a deep snow riding, if you, if you go side hilling, it keeps the line. Uh, if there is uh, some jumps or, or uh, if you want to do donuts or something, it supports your ride all the time. Uh, going up on the, on the mountain and evening, coming down the, the rough trail, uh, it still has a good long travel and uh, it supports your ride and doesn't give you any surprises then either. Yeah, my, my uh, key word is uh, predictability. Before I squeeze the throttle, I always know what's going to happen next. So I don't want to think about the sled when I'm riding. I want to think about my line. So to sum up what the PPS 2 DS Plus is all about, it is always in control. It's very agile and it gives you a great deep snow performance. And next, we go to the front part of the snowmobile. We have LFS front suspension with 36 inches of 
ski stands, then we have KYP 36 rebuildable shocks. Yeah, Kashima coating and the front shocks, as well the rear suspension, we have uh, four uh, Kashima shocks, good uh, podoming resistance, but still a nice uh, comfort on the small bumps. And then what is supporting active riding as well is plate DS plus skis. Yes, uh, stable ski, which is uh, giving you the confidence. Whatever kind of riding you do on the deep snow, if you go faster, if you want to do donuts, or if you want to side hill really aggressively, it's stable, it's uh, predictable, and uh, it, it has a nice uh, steering capacity. So for example, when you want to do uh, counter steering turns in high speeds, it floats and the transition from going straight forward to tight turn it happens flawlessly. Very predictable, it's floating well and uh, give the riders confidence to do, for example, high speed sharp turn in, in, in deep snow. Yeah. So this DS package comes in two track lengths. We have 3,900 equals to 154, and then we have DS 4,100 equals to 165. What is common in these two is uh, Rotax 850 E-Tech engine, very powerful, very reliable, good fuel economy and crispy throttle response. And then industry first shot starter system. And you can always make the great snowmobile even better by using the right accessories. So, Hen Henry Toppala, what do we have on this DS? If we start here from the rear, so here we have uh, the two factory installed link attachments. And in the front position, we have the Link Deep Snow Pro Bag, which has the integrated uh, shovel holder on top of it. So the volume can be adjusted from 9 to 30 liters. And then if you look here on the rear, we have the small Link Cherry Can to have the outer dimensions as small as possible Let's say that you, you are doing uh, tree riding, so uh, then it's quite important to have the rear portion as slim as possible. Yeah. Then uh, we have excellent, excellent ergonomics on, on the DS, but uh, riders come, come in uh, different sizes and with different tastes, so... Yeah, and, uh, and also the different conditions yes. uh, is, is, a, is a one factor. So here we have the adjustable riser. So this is the medium, medium size, so which is uh, around the same height as the, uh, the original one. But we have also a lower one to go a bit below the standard height uh, for, for all those uh, most technical uh, riding places. Let's say steep and deep tree riding or uh, big jumps and so on. So then you need to keep your center of gravity as low as possible. So uh, here in the front, we have the Lynx Explorer fr uh, front bumper, which is made of, out of steel. It's very compact, so uh, very close to the body mm -hmm. and then extra, extra support on, on the bottom part also. So you don't get uh, the, uh, the snow anchor effect, even though you're riding through the snow. And then we have uh, the Lynx bottom pan over here uh, in, uh, in the wide format to give the extra protection for you. And then what we have also considering the design is to keep it extra smooth so that you get over those snow covered obstacles. So these were just few examples and we have plenty more to choose from.